Oh, I love it when the Incans build Mashu Pishu. Oh, it makes me so happy. Like, there should be bonus points if you're a Civ and you build a Wanda that, like, is represented by your Civ. I don't know. Just something, something nice about it. Something something quite, like, correct about it, I guess. And Kaplunk, spreading my religion to this city means, there you go, it's another two culture per turn, which is good. And I'll just treat it to a temple, because again, that's just extra culture is all good, and the extra faith really helps as well. It's all a very good combo for me. So there are a lot of very bad tiles around here, but this is a good tile. So if I settle on this one and then just purchase this tile there, look at that lovely little initial tile. Oh, there are some good tiles around if you look for them. There really, really are. Um, I think actually that as a preserve might be a pretty good spot as well. So we'll do that. Can Himiko pick up tribal huts? She can! 20 iron! That is about as least useful as I could have got because nobody is buying the iron from me. Please, someone take it. Oh, there we go. Kree is spreading Taoism to my cities, which is a little bit annoying. Um, it does give me Feed the World, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, it, it, again, it's like, I didn't ask for that. I didn't consent. Where's the consent in this? Oh well, what are you going to do? 90 science, 80 culture. Okay, Bam! Okay, this is good. Pick up monarchy quickly, get myself a better government. I don't know why I'm still getting great scientist points, that's totally pointless. Builders, settlers, we'll go urban planning, I'll go for beat of scripture, and then we'll go for mm, first envoy counts as two, uh, as well as another one of these. Defensive buildings? Let's go for defensive buildings, why not? Oh, the letter! Oh, what timing! Um, okay, actually, I can start to use my faith in order to get some of the city-state buildings. Um, I, I say that, I've just met them. I haven't actually befriended them. Come on, Ryan. One step at a time. I'm getting very carried away here. I have eight combat units in my military. I'm just going to levy Venice for that sole purpose. There we go, there's the boost. Nice. It's actually quite worth it. Don't convert my cities. No, this is for the best. Oh, they're really going for it, are you? All right, I'm going to have to kill these guys. I can see it now. Bit more science. There we go. Mercenaries upgrade. Um, I think now. I mean, where are we headed? What's what's the point of our life at the moment? As I said, I just want to get as much culture as possible. Let's go medieval fairs. Why not? Oh, they are gonna really dislike me after doing all of this. Ah, I love it. I love it. Education now. First preserve build, as well. Grow for six hundred gold. I feel like I could probably trade my way to six hundred gold if I tried. Saying that, it's one of those stages of the game where I don't believe anyone has any gold to trade, annoyingly. Um, actually, the Incans kind of do. Bomp, bomp, bomp. 72 gold. There we go. Lovely stuff. Let's just quickly do this, and then that, and then we'll go. And the Grove. Well, bam. Look at all those tiles. Some much better tiles at play now. In fact, that's a really good tile over there. Oh, Hungry! We've met Hungry. Lovely to meet you. Uh, anything we can trade with you? Mm, they've kind of got a bit of everything really, haven't they? Sometimes if you open up these screens, they'll... Yeah, like, there we go, so they're popping up and doing something. That's good. Still buying all the shrines. Up to 91 culture per turn now. This is what we're kind of really, you know, rating ourselves on this game is culture. Not science, although our science of 70 is still doing pretty good considering I haven't got any theatre squares. Uh, I've only got a single campus. I mean... Oh, Teddy. Teddy, you lunatic. Oh, here's Hercules. I wonder where he'd gone. Hungry had him the whole time. Ugh. Oh, hungry. Oh, finally some better policy cards. Okay, cool. Urban planning. I'm getting rid of you now. Not building any settlers, so I'm going to pick up uh, a movie to there. Merchant Confederation. That's 21 gold per turn. That'd be pretty decent, actually. Let's uh, stick with that for now. Cool. Right. Up to 165 gold per turn. That is a result. Another cheeky little boost, and there's education. Okay, right, I think universities are probably quite an important thing for us to get at some point, so we'll see what we can do on that front. Oh dear. Just realised there's a, there's a man at arms in that direction, which isn't great. Let's get ship building quickly. I'm just going to hide behind the lake and hope he doesn't spot me. Another cheeky one. Ship building. Ho oh, ho! Hey. Okay, right, now. Now you can get in the lake and just sort of hope that man at arms doesn't appear. Mo oh, hey! It's a new city! Very exciting stuff. Right, a new Ryan one. Oh, I've already got a new Ryan. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'll call it New Ursa then. I like to name these things. 
Makes me feel like I'm being funny. Even if I'm not. Moksha was coming in to new Ursa. And I'm slowly upgrading him because I want to get him down to Divine Architect, which is cool. Um, this should be done pretty quick, actually. Fingers crossed. Extra bit of Temple as well. 103 cultures. So we've gone above 100 culture per turn by turn 85. Not bad. Not bad. I will take that. I will take that. And there is Carthage, the last one. Okay, that's it. We've met everybody. Wonderful. The good thing to see is that I am the culture leader, which is nice. I'm not the tourism leader, but I'm definitely the culture leader. So, hooray. I'm also somehow third in tech, which is just wonderful. And we love Bullmoose. We love him. The AI wants to give me metamorphoses, which sounds like a really good deal until you remember that it's a great work and I hate it. Once more with feeling. Let's go monumentality again. Nice golden age. Nice ability to just continue putting settlers onto the map. Pick up Nana Doll quickly. Just give me a little bit more culture. Also lets me see a whole new world. Trade routes to me and nothing for truffles. The truffle shuffle is a no more. Okay, olives. Set your Actually, I think I had olives, which is really annoying. Finally have one more grove to put down. Kaplonk. Okay, none of these tiles are really super high in appeal, but we can we can get that working pretty quick. One more preserve down here now. Okay, we've got some we've got a couple of good tiles sort of popping out. This this one could really use being worked. I don't know why that one isn't being worked. Uh that's a lot of production. Okay, no, fine. I kind of want culture focus a little bit, but come and uh, get rid of, where is it, this improvement, that'll, that'll help a bit. So the owls now gives me ritual, which is really, really cool. So, okay, I didn't go void singers, that's fine. I've got to be focused more on city states, but to do that, I kind of need more trade routes. So commercial hubs have got to go down pretty soon. Now that we're getting sort of to the fun stages of the game, I'm also going to continue to spit out settlers now, which should be fun. Woohoo! Another preserve. Okay, let's just quickly see what this one does. A couple of decent tiles up there, good. So, good news, my capital is now 10 pop. The bad news is that Anansai just got absolutely brutally murdered to some barbs. Ooh, that was horrific. 850 faith to call back him. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay, perfect stuff. Got our final preserve sorted in this city as well. So, hey, look at these tiles. Very good. That's nice. Okay, we just... Oh, I need to plant forests. I'm so ready to plant forests. I'm not far off actually doing that. So, research the astronomy. Build an archaeological museum. Okay, that one's going to be a problem, seeing as I've got no theatre squares. And build a neighbourhood district, which is down there. So, I'm going to have to just rush this one through. Quickly going to pick up a university in Ryanamar. Gives me astronomy boost. That's good. It really, it's turn 100 and very little has happened the last few turns. I'm just I'm just waiting until I get to the fun stuff. On 141 culture, we're doing pretty good. Second, the tech. The Ottomans are now rushing ahead, though. They are absolutely having a game. 203 science per turn at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't want to get in their way. They are absolutely running through. Here we go. She's back. She's back and she's got eight more envoys. Right. Where am I going to send her? Ooh, the decisions. The decisions. Muscat. That would be pretty cool. Yerevan I've already got friends with. Nan Nadal I've already got friends with. I kind of want to send her a bit further abroad, but I can't bother to wait that long. So actually, I think I might just send her to the close ones. That'll give me more faith and I can rush through my other hero. I think that's probably not a bad idea. So I just picked up colonialism, which means that Raj is now more powerful. Which is brilliant. I like this card a lot. Let's put that in there. Natural philosophy, serfdom, colonialization. Okay. Yeah, this is this is cool. So I've got natural history coming in now and then conservation. I just need Anansai into the game really quickly, please. So there we go, 100 faith every time I put an envoy down. That's pretty decent. I'll have the 850 way before you know it, and then I can start to use him to boost boost some culture back up. Lovely stuff. In the meantime, don't mind me, Candy. Woohoo! Another friend. 121 faith per turn coming in now. Great. Another new city down here. Woohoo! I'm spreading. I'm spreading good. Anansi, hooray! Here he is. Right. Again, to the front line where I can go and just remove all the bonus resources that I don't need myself. Oh, sorry, Ottomans, but you're, you're already on 207 science. Actually, the Kree is on 209 now. So maybe I should 
suppress this a bit more and the boosting starts okay cool hopefully this will be the last set of boosts and then I can get conservation and that lets me plant trees and put natural national parks down and oh that'd be so good looking forward to that natural I history actually I do need to put theater squares down it's one thing so not theater squares um that's the one thing I can't do water parks entertainment complexes that sort of stuff that's what I need to put down can't cheat not I'm not cheating I promise what I am doing though is quickly evangelizing my belief so what am I gonna do I quite fancy getting something like stupas in I think stupas are quite fun and we're gonna go for Ooh, what do we reckon? Uh, let's go for religious colonialization. I mean, that's just, it's less faff having to settle cities. Sprawling Empire, you know what? This game has felt a little bit slow in this stage, but actually, the fact we've got Sprawling Empire means that I'm doing pretty well. Launched an Inquisition. Okay, now these things, these Inquisitors. I do have a little bit of Islam in my empire, so I'm gonna go get rid of that. I kind of want it away because World Church is giving me lots and lots of tasty culture, but I could get more. Another Gilded Vault. Oh, yes, economics boosted, but I'm up to 189 culture per turn now. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Oh, 10 turns though, and I need a uh, 16 era score. Okay, 16. That's not... I mean, I'm about to get some national parks. I'm hoping we should be able to get that pretty easily, but I was at 300 gold per turn now. Like, my, my empire's doing okay. It's doing it's doing fine. I'm just trying to do my best to grow these, like, little new cities by, you know, eating all the rainforest up, which is totally not what I should be doing, but never mind. And a boosty boost. There we go. Next turn. Nice. I would like city center buildings, and I would like duplicates. Actually, no, no. Last time it was no tobacco. So we'll vote on these just to see if I can get, like, something through. Uh, no coffee this time. I, you know what, it's, there's no point trying to predict what's going to happen there. Conservation, right. This is the turn it all kicks off. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to pick up Nan... Uh, oh no, Nana Doll is already picked up. Who was I looking at? Mahajadaro. Full housing from water. That one's actually really handy. We're going to pick that up and I'm just going to stick something in Auckland. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, we're up to 210 culture per turn. I don't think there's anything super interesting that we need to switch to here but actually we don't need more settlers for now let's instead pick up republican legacy because it gives you just yields on everything just having a few more amenities which is wonderful and now we need to have a look at basically whichever cities we can in order to get some national parks and like this is a good starting national park this would be a good starting national park so lots to do lots to do let's get the builder in and then we'll get think the naturalist down here and then we're gonna go from my capital and work outwards this is where we do our favorite thing so the average appeal of that can be immediately improved by some woods which I'm popping down and suddenly I mean this should be a national park you can see here that annoyingly like it wants to put it in this set of tiles but I want to go one over here because it's, this is a, sort of a better a better spot so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly go in and put a mine in there which hopefully will there we go force it over so now we can pop this in get four era score there's the first national park great I mean the thing is is that all of the tiles in this city will improve by plus one as long as as long as we've got a national park and every national park I put in that effect gets bigger and bigger and bigger so these will get easier and easier to place that's the theory that's the theory anyway also going to switch to theocracy now uh, mainly because it gives me more faith and it also lets me purchase things for faith a little cheaper as well second national park is now there okay cool so this is how we're going to get our tourism i mean this is going to be pretty damn cool and look there you go all of the breathtaking tiles are now appearing on all of the other spots of my city which is pretty awesome as well great Okay, so basically I'm building these in such a way that I can sort of fit the maximum amount in to my city as possible. Still doing lots of trading with people. I've got so many strategics I cannot actually get rid of them all. No one is buying them quick enough. And I think my diplomatic favor is also going up at a similar rate, 38 gold per turn. I will take that because quite frankly, I need the money one turn let's just put that national park down okay so i'm on 108 
I'm on 108. That's really frustrating. Um, oh, actually, I could get Marco Polo with, like, a little bit of gold. Bam. There we go, 109. Phew. Oh, I thought that was going to be, like, really, really annoyingly close and I wouldn't be able to actually get it, but no, that's fine. One more golden age. Monumentality has been really useful so far, but I think reform coinage is probably going to do me more. Um... Although actually, civilian units for faith is quite useful. Uh, Exodus Evangelus. Actually, let's do Exodus Evangelus. I quite like that. Inquisitors get a little bit more movement. I'm fighting a little bit of a defensive religious battle here. Not a huge one, but one that's like sort of annoying. One more national park. So far, look at this. There's one huge, huge national park. Rayana Mar and Rayana Less all together in one beautiful little just crazy national park gotta love it okie dokie this is national park number five i believe Woohoo! oh yeah look at that that's looking good that's looking really good i think i need to put some forests around these sort of areas a little bit let's chop this guy down and then we can put something around i think i've got another national park that i could probably put in there or do i do it on this set of tiles this set of tiles is probably the nicer one, so let's just plonk that there and make sure that, yeah, look, all of that is in the same city. Good. Good. 102 tourism per turn at the moment. I'm beginning to start to get some tourists. Not a lot, but some. And as I was saying before, now we have sanctuaries. I can start building these in and go kabloom, look at some of these yields. Oh, oh my word. That is teddy -rific. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, actually, the Cree. I can make an alliance with the Cree. Now, this is going to reveal a bunch of the map for me. A research alliance sounds like fun. And woohoo! Oh, yes. Okay, like, let's have a quick look at the map then. So, the Cree are doing okay, but you can see the AI is doing that amazing sort of very regular city placement. I, I love it when they do that. Dido's got a tiny empire, considering how much space they've got and how much, like, lake they have here. That's pretty disappointing. Zulu have uh, tried to expand, as has Arabia, but really, it's only the Ottomans have really kind of bothered. The Incans have kind of settled over to the mountains over there, but have were well, given a pretty flat start, actually. Which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, so we're the only people that have really expanded properly, which is a little sad. I, don't, I, I like it when the game, you know, really challenges you. Next one in my super national park. This time it's this city that's doing it, which is quite cool, which helps actually with the loyalty of this city, which is... Uh, loyalty? No, not the loyalty, the, the appeal of this city. Uh, I just need 15 gold when I can show you something quite fun. Hang on, like so. And Sanctuary, if I just do that, I can go blub bump. Oh my word, look at those yields. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful stuff. Ooh, that's a nice holy site. I'm just like randomly building stuff that's just insanely cool. Saving my gold up for sanctuaries and building shrines and bunches of cities now. I've had three cities, I've got stupas being built. All of my faith is going towards naturalists at the moment. There's literally nothing else that I'm spending my money on. This barb clan has been the worst thing in the world. Oh, cartography boost. I, I think that's a pity boost it's given me. Like, it was like, yeah, that, that had given you a lot of trouble. I'm just gonna, you know, let you, let you enjoy that one. Oh dear, right, naturalist. Okay, right, I think there's another one over here I can do just as soon as I remove this tile over there. Next up, it's this national park. So, I think I've now got, uh, what would that be? One, two, three, four, five, uh, it's easier just to count them. Seven, seven national parks so far. And we're only just getting started. I've got the faith per turn to get one every three turns or so at the moment, which is pretty cool, but I mean, could get better. I'm almost adamant that could get better but we'll we'll keep improving that for now let's get the naturalists in i could get anan sai back in but i don't really need the science or the culture right now at the moment i would just prefer to get all the faith all of my cities are basically just generating as much faith as is humanly possible um which is quite a lot actually i'm genuinely managing to kick out quite a bit park number eight hooray Okay, this was only a charming park, mainly, so I need to just go and uh, actually put some forests down in it, but still, it's a good park. Let's try this a little bit more. We'll bump, and we'll put another forest in there, which is good. I've got another one, actually, I can plonk in on this city, which is pretty cool. So we'll go and do that, although actually, the thing is, do I want it on these tiles, or do I want it on these tiles? 
Oh, I mean, those mountains are good, but I don't know what's the most economic use of space. I've got two sanctuaries there, so I think actually I want it here because then I can put the next one there, I think. It doesn't really make too much difference, but I guess this one actually means that I've got two in my capital, so that's good. And a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Truffa Daspi, Paul Coffey for all of your support on Patreon as well as everybody else who likes, subscribes, joins Discord and does all the silly things that keeps this channel going. Thank you so much.